let's stick around through problem 87a a cash budget so to do these budgets it assumes something and it assumes we've already done all of our other budgets so we've done uh scheduled expected cash collections and we've got our cash receipts we've done a uh materials purchases budget a labor budget an overhead budget a selling and admin expense budget and we've totaled up all of our cash disbursements and now we're saying am i based on everything i've seen so far am i going to run out of money <laughs> right that's the million dollar question is are we going to run out of money do we need to borrow money do we need to look to our shareholders for money what's our cash flow situation or if you've got lots of money what are we going to do with all the extra money <laughs> those are the that's the the question at hand so it says cookie crunchers had the following estimated cash flows for the first quarter and there is uh cash coming in and cash going out for the quarter and again that would have come off of other budgets we would have already prepared uh the company begins the year with twenty thousand dollars in cash and requires a minimum cash balance of ten thousand so once they're below 10 alarm bells start ringing and you go oh i better look at getting extra money because the idea is you know you could have a ten thousand uh, dollar expense come out of nowhere for your business and sink you right so they want to have at least ten thousand dollars ready to go the company may borrow any amount from a local bank at an interest rate an annual interest rate of six percent the borrowing must occur at the beginning of any month and all repayments must be made at the end of any month interest is repaid at the time of the loan repayment okay we've got to prepare a cash budget let's start with a title cookie crunchers that sounds like me i am a cookie cruncher uh we are doing a cash budget i've been dieting and losing weight and my mom bought a bunch of cookies i ate them all last night i just i can't help myself around cookies uh we're doing a cash budget and it's for the quarter ended march 31st Okay, so we've got January, February, March, and the quarter. And we're just trying to track our cash th through the through the quarter. So we have a beginning balance in cash. So cash balance beginning. And at the beginning of January, the beginning of the quarter, our cash was twenty thousand uh, dollars okay we can't know our cash at the beginning of february until we know what we ended january with so this this um budget you kind of do all of january you get to the end then you do february then you do all of february and on to march so it's sort of there's an order of operations here uh so what happens well in january we're bringing in fifty thousand dollars in cash we have cash receipts actually i'm going to say add cash receipts so uh fifty thousand dollars comes in so we're at seventy thousand dollars now that's our subtotal and we're going to deduct cash disbursements or cash payments that's cash out and we have eighty thou in cash out so where are we well not in a good place right you can see we're at negative 10. 70 minus 80 is negative 10. so this we would normally say uh uh cash available if it was positive but since it's negative we call it a shortfall right we're we're short now, of course, when this happens, a logical thing is to go back to your budget and go, well, maybe I shouldn't spend the, I don't have the money to spend on the renovation or buy the new vehicle or whatever, right? You could change your plans at this moment. Or as the question suggests, we can say, okay, well, I guess we've got a plan to do some financing. We've got a plan to do some borrowing. So the next section is like the financing section. And here we got to lay out, there's really three items in the financing section we can borrow money we can pay it back and we deal with interest so those are the three things to be worried about in our cash budget which is borrowing we'll call them repayments but it's it's principal repayments um, paying back what you owe and then interest repayments will be 
its own line. Um, okay, so then that'll give us our total financing financing and this gives us our cash balance ending okay so let's see where we're at we had twenty thousand dollars we had 50 grand come in so we're going to be up to 70 we're planning to have eighty thousand go out so we're going to be at negative 10. the company requires a minimum cash balance of 10 but that's positive 10. so to go from negative 10 to positive 10 i'm gonna have to borrow some money or get it from somewhere and this example borrow it how much money do i need to borrow and the answer is twenty thousand dollars right if i want to go from negative 10 to positive 10 i got to borrow 20 grand so my total financing here is twenty thousand dollars i'm not repaying anything now i'm not i don't have the money to pay back yes the interest clock has started ticking but this is a cash budget i'm not paying back any interest today so uh, uh no need to do anything with interest today so negative 10 plus 20 leaves us at a positive 10 in cash at the end of the period dollar signs at the top and bottom okay february my cash balance at the beginning of february is the same as it was at the end of january it's ten thousand dollars what happens in february i have a hundred and forty thousand coming february is a big month bring me to a subtotal of 150. uh i have cash disbursements in february of 90 meaning I've, I'm sitting on $60,000 in cash. The assumption in the question is we're gonna repay as soon as possible. So is it possible to repay? And the answer is, yeah, I can pay back the 20 grand. I got 60, I gotta have above 10. Yeah, if I pay back the 20 plus some interest, I'm gonna still be comfortable here. So let's pay back the loan. So of course we're gonna pay back 20 grand, but how much is the interest? Well, it's $20,000 times 6%, it is, $1,200 in annual interest, that's in interest per year. But we didn't borrow the money for the year. How long did we borrow the money for? Well, the question tells us the borrowing must occur at the beginning of any month. Now this is not true for most companies, but it just makes the accounting question easier for our workbook. Uh, so if we borrow at the beginning of the month, that means we borrowed on uh, January 1st, right? We borrowed in January, we borrowed 20 grand. So I borrowed on January 1st. I repay the money. It says the repayments happen at the end of the month. So I repay on Feb 28. So how long did I have this money out for? And the answer is two months. All right. So we have $1,200 in interest a year. We have two months worth of interest. 1,200 times two twelfths is $200. So there's $200 of interest to be repaid. I borrowed 20 grand, kept it out for two months, and now I'm paying back. I got to pay back the, whoops, uh, repayments. I got to pay back the 20 grand I owe, and I have to pay back $200 of interest at that time. So in total, I'm paying back $20,200. So I had 60 grand, but, you know, available, but I'm going to pay back my debts. So 60,000 minus 20,200 is leaving me with 39,800, dollar sign at top, dollar sign at the bottom. Let's go on to March. March, I open with $39,800. I have $90,000 come in, giving me 129,800. I have $100,000 go out leaving me with 29,800. Do I need to go to the bank? The answer is no, I don't need to borrow any money. I don't need to pay back any loans. I have no business at the bank right now. I might go to the bank to make some investments if I feel like I have extra cash or, you know, there's things I could do, but nothing uh, that this problem is directing us to do. So we end with $29,800 in cash. Let's look at the quarter in total. So this uh people can screw up and the re the way they would screw it up is they would total the cash balance beginning they go 20 plus 10 plus 39 is 69,800 but no 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 the cash balance at the beginning of the quarter was 10 was $20,000 right cash receipts 50 plus 140 plus 90 uh is 280 
Now you don't total this way, you add down 20 plus 280 is 300. That's our cash available or subtotal for the quarter. Uh, we deduct cash payments, which is 270. And you can see if there was no financing, we would have $30,000 in cash, but there was financing. What happened with the financing? We brought in, we borrowed 20 grand, we repaid the 20 grand and we paid $200 of interest. In total, as a result of financing, we're down 200 bucks, the interest, right? We brought in 20, we paid back 20,200, we're down $200 and that's all on interest cost. So where do we end up? 30,000 minus 200, 29,800. And you can see these two numbers are matching as they should, right? The money cash balance at the end of March, March 31st, is the same as the end of the quarter, which is also March 31st. And I think we've done it, folks. Congratulations to us. Just as you're celebrating and patting yourself on the back, pat me on the back too. I like making the videos and I love thumbs ups. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.